Well, thousands from across the country, including many from right here in central New York, are making their way to Washington for the big day. And not all of them, as we've said, are in support. Protests abound. News Channel 9's Beth Cephalou has more on that this morning. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Dan and Jennifer, and that's right, both supporters and protesters, as you mentioned, Dan, making their way down to Washington, D.C. for the inauguration. Among those going down to protest, the Syracuse Peace Council. That group took off around midnight, and there are also going to be two buses of Central New Yorkers going down for a women's march on Saturday, in addition to 25 Syracuse University students. College Democrats at SU offered one free bus that will take those students to the nation's capital to participate in the Women's March on Washington. He calls women pigs and he just um, uh, berates reporters with horrible, horrible things and has nothing. He acts like an eight-year-old sometimes and he just has nothing nice to say about anyone, which is really sad because there are little kids who are looking up to the president. The way that he carries himself and the way that he behaves sets a precedent for how people in this country should behave. And because a man who says these things and acts this way and is so utterly disrespectful to women, other people think that it's okay for them to act the same way. And more protests are planned for back here at home. Marches are expected in Seneca Falls, Ithaca, and right here in Syracuse. Coming up at 6.30, though, we'll hear from Trump supporters excited for their trip to D.C. Dan and Jennifer.